I didn't film it like an update at all last week. Um, I think I was just like lazy <laughs> to be honest. And I've kind of developed this new, um, oh, I know the reason. I know part of the reason why I didn't, um, do an update. So, let me just minimize that. Um, I, I'm not, I'm tired today, but I have kind of lost my fatigue, which is awesome. Um, I'm like congested right now. But I also like developed this awesome like uh, symptom of like nausea. <laughs> I haven't gotten to, well. I got sick this morning, but it wasn't like actually sickness. I'll leave, leave it. It wasn't like actual sickness. Um, I had a headache, so I took some medicine. And apparently, my child does not like it when I take pills. Like I immediately gag. Like not even like. Like, with the pillow just sitting in my mouth, I'm, like, gagging. Um, and then, like, because I was just thinking about it, I got sick. But it was just, like, the water that I took with it. So, like, the pills didn't come up, too. So, um, yeah. So, the re part of the reason why I didn't do an update last week is because this thing <laughs> I put together all by myself, which is a huge accomplishment for me because I cannot put together, like I suck at directions, but I actually, I put it together, but it took me like five, six hours one day, like last week, and it was awful. Um, but I got it, um, I got some stuff on it right now, and um, yeah, I was just really lazy <laughs> last week. Like literally putting that together wore me out for like two days. <laughs> Um, but other than that, like, my fatigue has definitely subsided. I just think that I'm just tired. Last night I woke up with a leg cramp, which was weird, because I do know Charlie horses are a symptom, but I thought it was, like, third trimester. I'm almost into my second, so that's awesome. But, yeah, I thought that was interesting. Um, it wasn't too, too bad, but I was just like, oh, God. Like, it woke me up for a little bit, but, yeah. Um... Finally got more of the nursery together. So this is what we got going on now. Got that. That still needs to be sent back. Oh, I broke a nail while making the um, the dresser. Um, that has to go back or thrown away or something. I'm waiting for Fisher Price to send me the bag so I can send it back to them because it's on recall. Um, and I just put it over there for now just to kind of get it out of the way. But I got the dresser, I got my bedding and everything, and this is our announcement that I am, I mean, at this point when I post this, it's going to be put up, <laughs> but I'm still waiting to post it. So I got that, and I still have a bunch of shit over here. I need to do something with these monitors and computer. They're for my old job. They actually never asked for it back, and um, apparently they moved now, so I don't even know where I could drop them off. So I just have like three monitors and a computer. Need to destroy that computer though. <laughs> um, because it has like sensitive information because I work in mortgage. But I got this um, bassinet that's going to go in our room when the baby comes. And I got some kite stuff. I don't know if I showed you guys the kite baby um, order that I got. But I got this little sleep sack. Um this little sleep bag and then I got one in yellow because this is before um this is like when they had their like clearance sale or semi-annual sale and it was before I knew the gender so yeah um I need to throw away those boxes that's an air mattress from years ago that I told Connor to put away and he never did um but yeah he finally took care of his workstation so that's awesome so this is what we got going on now um, I got some, I actually went shopping a little bit this past weekend and I got some more clothes and then I also got these like little divider things. Um, so I know like how much I have of each. My friend Christina, she was like, you know what, this is kind of like a bad purchase because, um, like when the baby is done using them, you're just going to pack up all that stuff. And I was like, that makes sense. But like, I need to know what I have now. <laughs> so I just got them and they were like 10 bucks. So it's whatever. Um, but that's all I have right now. Let's see what we have on this side. Um, so I went shopping and honestly, I had a hard time finding things like at Carter's. 
Um, but when I went to Ross, I found like amazing deals. Um, so I got like this cute little outfit, which comes with pants, um, this little sleeper, which is Carter's brand. And then this little sleeper with a beanie, which I thought was cute. Like honestly, boys clothes are so hard. These are all, um, uh, stuff that I purchased, um, when, not this one, but like when we didn't know what we were having and I just wanted to have something, um, but yeah, Connor's friend from work got him this cause Connor's into formula one. <laughs> Connor's into the like weirdest stuff ever, but yeah, I just got like random onesies, um, got this thing with like a little bib and a onesie and a sleeper. How cute is this Wrangler outfit? <laughs> How cute is that? Um, like I said, boys clothes are so hard to find. And honestly, I didn't think I was going to like this. I told myself no monsters, no dinosaurs, nothing like that. But this this little monster is so freaking cute. Um, got like this little onesie. So cute. Got this little outfit with some like khaki pants. Um, but yeah, so... What I realized is that I need newborn stuff. Not like a ton because who knows like how big the baby's going to be. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I also got these two little rompers um, from Carter's um, for like when he's one because he'll be a year at that point. Um, and it'll be hot as shit year. So I also got him... This little, I got some of these shelves. So I got these little um, shelves um, to put books on. And we're going to put them on this wall right over here. Um, I just, I'm waiting for Connor to do it. Uh, I've been the one to literally do everything in here. Um, but I also have the time, so it's like not a big deal. It kind of like fills a void of like not doing anything basically during the day. Let me go move my mouse around. Oh, my computer already turned off. I hate that about my computer. Sometimes it like turns off like right away. Um, so uno momento. Por favor. Okay. I hate my computer. <laughs> when I move around my mouse sometimes it doesn't like wake up my computer monitor. And so I have to unplug it from my computer and then replug it. It's such a I don't understand it. Come on, Jesus. Way too long. Way too long. I have zero freaking patience. Okay, and then... I forget what I was saying. Oh, I want to show you this one outfit that I got. Um, it's for fall time. But I got this little outfit. It's a little football onesie. And I thought that was so cute with some jeans. Um, I got it in three months because the baby should fit into it um, during football season at that time. So <sighs> that's like the little nursery update that I got and like a little sneak peek of all the stuff that I got. Um, but yeah, so also for the nursery, I'm going to get like a little name, name plate over there. Mr. Bear. He thinks that that teddy bear is a toy. It's the funniest thing. Um, I actually need to bring that, oh shush, I need to bring that ultrasound downstairs and put it back on the fridge. Um, but anyways, I want to get a nameplate over here and then I want to get some like safari animals. I found some on Etsy, like a digital print, Mr. Bear, hey. Um, I found digital prints that like have, um, like baby safari animals with like a little bit botanical so it'll go. So I think I'm going to do one right there, one right there. And then one above the dresser. But I like I don't want it to be too cluttered. But like the walls also need something. So that's my plan so far. Um, so yeah, my nausea, it's weird. Like, well, Connor's grandma texted me yesterday and like asked how I was doing. She was checking up on me, which I thought was really sweet. And um, I was like, oh, I'm good. Uh, but I kind of developed some nausea, which is not fun. Um, and I, she's like, just salting crackers. And I was like, yeah, I need to get some because all I have are Ritz. But I really think like any sort of cracker would do. But, um, uh, I told her, I was like, no, that it's weird though, because, um, when I 
like I really only ever get sick like I feel sick is like when I'm not moving so the baby likes for me to like walk around do things physical um he also likes it when I'm eating and so like I don't I'm not nauseous when I'm eating or when I'm like full um and yeah that's about it so like when I'm sitting idle I start feeling gross and sick and blah and then when I'm even like the slightest big of, I'm not like even when I'm not hungry but like I just don't have a full stomach that's why I start feeling sick so I thought that was interesting and she's like yep yeah, well that's right on track um that's pretty normal and I was like oh okay cool <laughs> um like it's it's just like me feeling ugh um it's not me actually getting sick if that makes sense I'm sure you guys understand what I'm saying but um, other than that, nothing much going on. Uh, next Friday, I have my appointment with my new doctor, and I'm so excited because I'm hoping to see baby. Um, and yeah, I really want to see him and make sure that everything's still good because I haven't seen him in seven weeks, basically. So, yep. Still no cravings. It's the weirdest thing. I, I feel like I'm having a pretty uneventful pregnancy which is it's not a bad thing but it also like has me like <sighs> nervous because I don't know you just kind of like when you hear all these people talking about their symptoms and stuff you just expect to have like the worst pregnancy ever so like when you're not having these symptoms you're like oh my god is everything like okay with my baby you know what I mean but yeah I'm gonna take our 13 month photos today baby is the size of a lemon or a peach and yeah that's all i got to fill you in on i don't have anything else really to update you on there's really nothing much i just really spent like last week putting together and organizing and trying to organize the um the nursery with the dresser and stuff so yeah so i will check in with you next week i really need to start being better about vlogging more <laughs> And I'm probably going to keep saying this like every freaking week, but my life is boring. I wake up from this, this room over here, this room over here, I walk over to my desk and I'm sitting here for eight hours a day. Meh, not really. Like I'll lay down when I don't have work to do, <laughs> but yeah, um, my life is boring. It's very boring, but that's okay. Good morning. It's Saturday the 26th. Um, and my birthday's tomorrow. How exciting. Um, but I am 14 weeks. I'm going to try and start vlogging more. Um, yesterday we announced on Instagram that we're pregnant and so many of you guys I was so overwhelmed with everybody like congratulating me and everything. So thank you guys so much. Um and yes, so I I have a ton of videos like edited and everything. I am just going to start filtering them out now. Um, and I'm I uploaded um, my finding out I'm pregnant video. It is processing right now, but I'm going to schedule it for tomorrow on my birthday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You guys have probably already watched this by now. Or watched that video by now. But I'm just talking out loud. Um, so I'm excited to kind of like be a little bit more um, active on the year term. Um, so yeah, uh, what was I going to say? So yes, I'm 14 weeks. Um, the past couple of weeks have been kind of rough for me. Um, I have been very nauseous lately so that kind of sucks um my headaches are awful like absolutely awful um but other than that like it's okay like i'm not as fatigued anymore i think i mentioned that um it just so happens that the day that i say that like, i'm not tired it's just like the days that like i just didn't get enough sleep but generally like i don't need a nap anymore which is awesome um Anything else about my pregnancy? Like, I don't know. I mean, I have been taking bump pictures. I don't know. I still don't really feel like I have much of a bump. Um, 
I don't know. Honestly, it just looks like I'm fat still. <laughs> but yeah, that's my baby. My baby boy's in there. Um, we went to the doctor yesterday. So I feel like I mentioned this before, but um, the doctor that did my um, confirma confirmation of pregnancy, she doesn't do deliveries anymore. So she um, referred me to somebody else. And I think I was complaining about how I wasn't able to get a hold of anybody there. Um, and I was like nervous about like, um, I was sorry, my friend just texted me ask, or messaged me if I wanted to go for a walk, which I actually might do. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? Um, so earlier this week, I tried calling them on Monday, no answer, but it was also President's Day again. Didn't really know like if they were open or not. I mean, I know it's a bank holiday, but maybe doctors, who knows? Um, so I kind of gave them the benefit of the doubt. I called them twice on Tuesday, didn't get a hold of anybody, left a voicemail, and didn't get a call back even by Friday. Like I never got a call. So like I wanted to make sure because I, I, I put it in as a new patient, but I also wanted to like make sure that like they knew that it was also a prenatal um appointment. Um so like I was I just wanted to make sure that that was like all all good to go. And um uh, sorry, I'm like, I'm having a brain fart right now. So I get there and, um, the receptionist was like, okay, yeah. And you're pregnant too, right? I'm like, yes, I am. And she's like, okay, like go do your pee thing. And did you fill out your paperwork? And I wasn't even, they, the website like didn't say, or I wasn't even like given any paperwork. So I knew I had to fill it out there. That's why I got there early. So I did that. And, um, I met with my doctor and I, I love her. I, love her I'm so excited like I'm just so happy that like it worked out um she's super freaking nice she's super cool um I was telling her about my like migraines basically and she's like yeah so you can take Tylenol Excedrin so even if that doesn't work um just let me know and I'll get you like a prescription for like the good stuff <laughs> which I don't hope like I really don't want to take medicine but like sometimes those headaches were literally making me sick like awful um but yeah she was super cool i'm really really happy with her and i i asked her i was like so like what's a good way to like get a hold of you because i i've tried calling calling multiple times and i haven't been able to get a hold of anybody and um uh and i never got a call back and she was like appalled <laughs> that she that i didn't get a call back um so she was like no no no. i want you to tell me like if there's any feedback regarding my practice please let me know and i was like awesome um so that kind of gave me a little bit of comfort so yeah um so we heard the heartbeat on the doppler um and it was like i think it was 155 on the doppler and then she's like so if you want to get a sonogram which i never got a picture for um she's like if you want to get a sonogram there's about a, a little bit of a wait it's about 40 minutes and i was like yeah i'm literally not doing anything i want to be able to see my child because i haven't seen him since seven weeks i haven't seen him in six weeks so um we waited it honestly it didn't even take that long it was maybe 25 30 minutes which was awesome so we went and we saw him i kind of got a clip um because she didn't give us pictures but then again i don't really know if like the pictures would have been good but that kind of sucks but um uh, at least we got the video like she was super cool about like us even filming she's like oh yeah yeah, yeah. Get, your, get your phone like get your camera out yeah please um and like we saw his leg and I, I i'm gonna insert the clip like we saw his leg we saw his big old head his hands were up by his head and you could see like his brain and like his spine and everything and it was just it was awesome uh and i'm just so happy to see him and like when she did the she was measuring his heartbeat on the sonogram and it was like it was like 164 if i remember correctly so like he's good and i'm so happy i'm so happy um yeah, it's, I'm just like on cloud, cloud nine. So, um, yeah, so my friend just messaged me, asked me if I wanted to go for a walk. So I think I'm gonna go and I'm gonna take a couple with me. So she gets some energy out, even though she's like over here chilling and sleeping. Hapa, do you wanna go for a walk? Hapa, you wanna go for a walk? It's been a while. So I just wanted to fill you guys in. Um, tomorrow's my birthday, so 
We're gonna go out to eat. We're gonna go out to Mastro's in Vegas. It's a really expensive restaurant. Like we usually go to like expensive restaurants for birthdays, anniversaries, and special occasions like that. Um, and I wanted to go um, to Mastro's and I don't know what I want yet. So I'm gonna have to figure out what I want on the menu. I'm so excited. Um, Connor already gave me all my gifts because he's just like so impatient and I got a Josh Allen jersey finally. I've never gotten a Buffalo Bills jersey before because I've been holding out like waiting for somebody like decent and I got a Josh Allen jersey so I'm super happy about that. He got me a Dior um, lip oil balm which I've been wanting and he got me some Olaplex shampoo and conditioner because I wanted it. <laughs> I already have the small ones and I was like, listen, like I don't really fucking need anything for my birthday, but can you get me like necessities? And he's like, yeah, sure, whatever. So he got me that. So, um, yes. I think maybe later I'll, go, I'll give you guys like a more update on the nursery. I think I, yours, I, I already showed you, but I got some more clothes yesterday. After our appointment, we went to Burlington and we found so many good things. So, um, yeah, I'm going to text my friend back and I'm going to go for a walk. But I just wanted to come on here and fill you guys in really quick for my 14 weeks. And I'm going to have to start vlogging it again. Because my, my weekly updates and everything, they get a little rambly. Because I only pick up the camera once a week. So, yeah, I will see you guys very soon. So head, yep. body, little arm staying high, there's a little hand. Hi! <laughs> oh, oh my look! Goodness. Right by the head. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh. oh my goodness, that's crazy. He's so much bigger now. Yeah, he is. That's awesome. 164 beats a minute. Nice. Strong. Yeah. <laughs> That's so crazy. Uh -huh. He's just moving around in there. They look scrunched, but they're fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Got everything he needs. Look at that leg. Like, yep. Oh my goodness. Oh. Ah, his little toesies. He's trying to kick me right now. Yeah. Mm. Oh my goodness. He's totally starting to have like extremities. Yeah. Little hands right yeah. there. Oh. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This never gets old, huh? No. No. Nope. A big old head, just like you. <laughs> oh my Back god. Oh, yeah. Brain looks oh, good. yeah. Brain this looks good. That's crazy. Can we see his penis yet? Or, or does he have his back to us? Or like. Um, butt is. There's this way down here. Okay. Yeah, so his baby is low, low, low. Yeah, I'm not going to get the genitalia, the position. I'm just curious so if you can actually low. see it yet. Move, baby, move. Yeah, there's no way the butt down there. I can't get the angle. Okay, okay. Looks Gosh. good, guys. Oh my goodness, <laughs> that is so cool. <laughs> 